In our previous video, we have discussed how we can develop our circuits to be replacing the variable resistors to change the speed of a motor. And we have introduced to you the, uh, uh, the transistor, which works like um, variable resistor, but we have to put it in something called linear operation, where it's between the saturation and cutoff. And after some discussion, we have seen that there is a lot of power dissipation across that transistor in that way and actually sometimes it's not practical and brings lots of concerns so today we are going to continue on this and elaborate to see how we can really avoid our transistor to dissipate that lots of power and how we make it more efficient and more practical so to solve this problem i think we introduced, we have titled our slides to be YPWM. So I believe you guess what is the solution is to use the pulse width modulation. In pulse width modulation, we can supply the total power or the total voltage to the, um, uh, to the load, or we can cut it, okay? And if we combine these in a frequent way and there is some time spans between them, so we introduce something called pulse width modulation. And in that way, the average voltage, according to our on time and off time, will be delivered to the load. So our load will have the same 50 volt that we want it to be delivered or applied across its terminals, but in another way. And instead of making our transistor to drop high voltage across its terminals and dissipate lots of power, we can just make the same thing for the load, okay? And that will be delivering 50 volt for it, but instead of that, we can make our transistor relaxed without dissipating lots of power. And PWM is a concept where you switch the transistor on and off by some percentage, okay? Maybe 50% or 10% um, uh, like this example, or even like different percentage like 80% like that one. And those are called the duty cycle, okay? So I think most of you are aware about the PWM and what is the duty cycle, which is the ratio between the on time and the total duration. So if I have this signal with a duration T and the on time is 50% of that T, so I think this is the duty cycle. So we have to select some frequency and we can calculate the T and then we can set the uh, uh, T on. And by setting different T ons, okay, I'm really uh, delivering or applying different voltages across my load. So my load will be heavy, but yeah, uh, he got the 50 volt. He can get 70, 90, 10, 20, whatever I want by changing this duty cycle. But the advantage or the big advantage is my transistor my transistor will be relaxed and happy. Now we will just make a small comparison between if I set it in the linear region or if I set it in the PWM or if I operate it in a switch mode which using the PWM, okay? So in the linear region again, if I made it in the way, in the middle of, of, of the linear load, okay, where my IB is supplying the transistor and there is some current here, makes the transistor drops 50 volt, so I will dissipate 500. Now, with the switch operation, which um, uses the uh, PWM as a control signal, that way I can really drop 50 volt across my load and my load getting its 50 volt, okay? But what happens? Now, my transistor, okay, when I supply this pulsation, okay, it will be 0 and 1, 0 and 5 volt, 0 and 10 volt, okay? That means I cut it and saturate it, cut it and saturate it. Now, in the cut it, in the cut off, in the cut off region, okay, my voltage across my the, the transistor terminals, okay, will be 100 volt. And I think this is known from what we explained before. And if I saturate it, it will be like short circuit between the collector and emitter and the voltage across the transistor will be zero. And this is my load line or the linear 
region line. And I can really switch between these two regions. Now, I make my voltage across my, uh, my transistor, zero and then 100, and then zero and then 100, very quickly, okay? So, actually, my supply will see this value, finally, or my load will see this value. Again, when I turn on from cutoff to saturation, from saturation to cutoff, saturation to cutoff, saturation to cutoff, my load as well will switch with me from zero to 100, zero to 100. If the duration of the zero equals the duration of the 100, which is 50-50, 50% duty cycle, that means my load will see the middle middle uh, uh, value, which is 50 volt, okay? So now my transistor, either in cutoff or in saturation, the question, if it's in cutoff or saturation, will it dissipate less power or no? To assist this, we have to make also other calculation. On the left here, we have the calculation from the previous slide for the linear region, okay? For the switched region, okay? I have this graph here where my switch, my switch is the transistor, has zero current in the cutoff when it's off, okay? And higher voltage, or in the on state, it will have voltage across VCE to be zero because it's shorted now, okay? And the current will be very high, okay? So this represents the off state here, and this represents the on state, okay? Let's now calculate the power. And because the, 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 the signals are switching and varying over time, so I have to use what's called the average power calculation, okay? And that one, is VCE times IC and IC now which is this one and VCE which is this one are varying across uh, over the time so I have to calculate it by integration now in the own state look at the own state here in the own state the VCE which is this one is zero and if I multiply the zero by the current which is any value it will be zero volt zero watt in the off state which is this one, the voltage has a value, but the current doesn't have a value. That means also the power dissipated is zero. I, I'm writing here the power as a small letter because I'm, I'm concerned about that time, the on state and off state. And I call this P small, okay, as instantaneous power. The P capital is the average power. So the P small over that duration of on state, zero, the P small instantaneous power over the off state is zero. So as average, I think you will agree with me, agree with me that the total power dissipated by this transistor during the on and off, it will be also zero. You can actually calculate that by another way, which is the power, average power across this transistor, it equals the integration from zero to T the instantaneous voltage times the instantaneous current, and this will bring you to zero again. That means using PWM, making my transistor very cold and can deliver the amount of voltage to my load without any problem. I don't need any parallel transistor or fan or heat sink. This is ideally, practically, we have some value for the power dissipation for conduction and for switching, I will explain it later, but ideally it will be zero. And here, ideally, it should be 500. There is a big difference between that and that. And that's why PWM is essential in power electronics. And you should make your transistor in cutoff, real cutoff, or in saturation, real saturation, because sometimes when you switch, you think that you are putting it in saturation, but you are not putting in saturation, okay? That will make your transistor very hot, and you, you, you're still wondering why it's damaged and burning every time. That means you have to consider other things, how I make my transistor saturated, how I make it cut off as fast as possible to avoid any losses in the way, okay? The switching, if you remember, we are jumping between the cutoff to the 
saturation and we go back from cutoff to saturation but through the linear region so that's why there are some losses during this transition from cutoff to saturation and that's called the switching losses okay and we will speak about this maybe later i just wanted here to tell you that pwm is way far for efficiency uh, improvement uh, from the linear operation and i think you agree with me according to this test that it's really uh, promising for our converters so in the coming video maybe this week or next week i will um, bring you to the uh, lt spice how i use it to approve how the linear operation work and switch operation work and also to make some calculation i will make lt spice to do that calculation for us and to to calculate the efficiency of the system in the linear region and switch operation see you next time and thank you very much